Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 2. Let us observe this surgery. The patient is under topical anesthesia. This is the main wound with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And this is phenocaine, which contains gelocaine, tropicamide, and phenylephrine. Now the antechamber is filled up with visco. This is 2% HPMC, and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision, about three clock hours away, at mid limbus. And now capsular axis is done with the help of these uterta forceps. The uterta forceps makes a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is rotated all around anticlockwise to get an adequate size axis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydrodissection is done with this 27 Gauss cannula and hydrodelineation is also done. Hydrodelineation has produced a beautiful golden ring in this case. After watching this golden ring, I thought of doing carousel technique in this case. In carousel technique, we just rotate the nucleus nicely, remove some superficial cortical lens matter and then place the tip of the phaco needle at the edge of the nucleus and let the nucleus rotate and gradually get emulsified and it vanishes within few seconds. And now the rest of the lens matter is removed. Cortical cleanup is to be done. In this case, I'm using a coaxial irrigation aspiration device from Oatly for this cortical cleanup. And with this coaxial IA, the removal is really fast. And now, irrigation cannula is used to polish the posterior capsule. And then, hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece aspheric monofocal intraocular lens. The lens has gone into the capsular bag. But to check whether it has gone into the capsular bag or not, you can just check the excess margin just adjacent to the haptics. If you can hook the rexis over the haptics, then it is in the bag. I made some punctures on the conjunctiva to reduce the chemosis fast because the eye will not be passed the eye will remain open after the surgery. The patient is under topical anesthesia, as I have told before. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely irrigated and aspirated. Then the anterior chamber is formed nicely, placing the same core at the wound, and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your 
surgical skills. You can use this carousel technique when the nucleus is soft and you have got a beautiful hydro delineation.